With help, lift the board into position. Fasten the board to the wall. Ensure proper backing or support is in place and ensure the board is level. Connect the PEX loops in your floor to the manifold. Be sure to identify the supply and return pairs. This can be easily checked by blowing into one end of the pipe and finding its mate. Cut the pipe to length, leaving a bit extra. Slide the nut and split ring onto the pipe. Ream the pipe and grease the manifold adapter O-rings. Thread the nut onto the manifold by hand. Repeat for all supply and return pipes. Snug the manifold adapter nut with a wrench, but be careful to not over tighten. Open the manifold valves with an Allen key under the hex cap on the manifold. It will be fully open when it is flush with the top of the threaded seat. With the Allen key, close any unused manifold ports and cap the open ports. Install the low water cutoff device into the push fit or union connection near the top of the boiler. If equipped with an external pump, have your electrician temporarily wire it to be plugged into an outlet. Mount the glycol feeder mounting bracket to the wall. Set the glycol feeder on the bracket. Thread in the supplied push fit adapter to the half inch threaded connection at the top of your glycol feeder. Using half inch PEX pipe or copper, Connect the feeding system to the fill port between the air eliminator and expansion tank. Check to make sure all air bleeders are in the open position. Also make sure all ball valves are open to allow the system to fill. With a funnel, fill the glycol feeding system with water and glycol. We recommend to dilute the glycol to 50-50 or greater to fill the system and a targeted end result of 30 to 35% glycol as the final fill. Plug the glycol feeder into an outlet and turn on by pressing the power button. The glycol feeder will start filling the system. At this time, you should inspect the system for leaks. Depending on the volume of the system, you may need to fill up the glycol feeder a number of times. Using the wire on the pump your electrician installed for you, plug it in to start the pump. It is suggested to carefully open the bleeder screw on the pump until air or water is released. Once only water is released, close the screw. Have a rag ready to catch any water that may leak out from the bleeder screw. Exercise the valve on the pump to assist in air removal. When the glycol feeder stops filling, open the next loop on the manifold and repeat until all circuits are purged of air and filled with water and glycol. Remove the boiler's front panel. Open the purge valve on the boiler until the liquid coming through has no more air bubbles. Close the valve. Replace the boiler cover. Your system is installed and ready for a professional for the gas connections, venting, and commissioning. Thank you for choosing Heat Innovations.